All right, I've had enough of interdimensional idiots. Time to educate the low IQ zoo you call a family. Yes, let's. Today's topic, gentlemen, is psychosis, or as Peter might call it, Tuesday. Wait, I thought psychosis was like when you eat expired cheese and talk to your sandwich. God, you're dumber than a broken Roomba in a sandbox. No, psychosis is a pathological break from reality. Hallucinations, delusions, brain static turned up to 11. Actually, I think it's more of a spectrum. Oh, do shut up, Brian. You quoting Wikipedia doesn't make you Freud. You still eat your own vomit. Rick, like, what's causing this psychosis stuff, man? Let's dumb it down for Peter. So inside your skull... That mostly empty beer cooler, you've got dopamine. It's a neurotransmitter. Think of it as the hype man of your brain. In psychosis, the dopamine in the mesolimbic pathway is in overdrive. It's like your reward system is hallucinating too. Exactly. Too much dopamine equals positive symptoms like seeing dead people or thinking you're Jesus. That's why antipsychotics block D2 receptors. And the prefrontal cortex. Is your cortex barely frontal, Brian? But yeah. Good try. Low dopamine there gives negative symptoms like apathy, poverty of speech, and basically how Peter looks 90% of the time. Hey, I'm not apathetic. I just conserve energy. Yes, by not using any brain cells. Anyway, that's just the dopamine story. There's glutamate too, specifically NMDA receptor hypofunction. That leads to cognitive derailment. It's like your brain's conductor passed out drunk. And let's not forget GABA, the inhibitory break. If you lose it, you get hyper excitable circuits. Basically, mental fireworks without a safety switch. Okay, okay. So my brains has got too much dopamine, not enough brakes, and the gas pedals glued down. Ugh. That's surprisingly accurate. Did you accidentally eat Morty's Nutripix? Hey, those were for my exam, Rick. And serotonin? Ah, uh, yes. 5-HT2A receptors, to be exact. They modulate perception and emotion. Ever heard of LSD? That's serotonin gone to burning, man. Atypical antipsychotics like clozapine hit both dopamine and serotonin, a chemical double slap to your brain's bad behavior. So what if someone I know starts believing their cat is a CIA agent? Then? you take away his catnip and call a psychiatrist. And maybe don't reproduce again. Universe is already on fire. All right, Morty, let's go. These morons are giving me psychosis. 